hey guys welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best nigerian fried rice mm -hmm. yes i said that <laughs> so you'd want to keep watching to see how i made it and if you've not subscribed to my channel this is the right time to do that please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back first you want to start by washing your chicken properly and then add it to the pot season with some onion scotch bonnet pepper dry chili pepper thyme seasoning powder curry powder ginger and garlic paste and then i'm going to give everything a good mix to make the best fried rice you need a quality stock from the chicken use any seasoning of your choice here i added a little bit of salt and i gave everything a good stir and i'll cover and allow to steam for the first 10 minutes i'm not adding any water now this is after 10 minutes you can see it released some juice on its own i'm going to add more water to it and allow to cook for more 20 minutes the reason why i'm adding this water is so that the chicken will get cooked very well so once i'm done i'm going to cover and allow it to cook for more 20 minutes before cutting your veggies you would want to make sure that they are nicely washed use the vegetables you can lay your hands on chop off the top and the bottom of the pepper and then cut into sm smaller stripes before cutting into small sizes so for me i'm using the yellow bell pepper green bell pepper spring onions carrots green peas green beans and also red pepper so any one that you can find you can use them so the way you cut your vegetables matters a lot because it will tell how your fried rice is going to look you don't want your fried rice to to look anyhow because of the way you cut your vegetables so next is the spring onions for the spring onions you can get it from the local market if you're in nigeria those people who sell um vegetable like cabbage those are the people you can get it from yes so i'm just going to cut it into small pieces like this and then i'll set it aside for the carrot always scrape out the back of the carrot before dicing cut into long stripes just as you've seen then you dice them like this after that i'll set it aside and next is my green bell pepper so i'm just going to do the same thing i did with the or yellow pepper to eat and then i also set that one aside please let me know where you're watching from so i can send you a virtual hug and also thank you in my next so video. next is the red pepper i'm also going to cut it into small stripes before cutting it um into small sizes like this so when i'm done with all of these i'll set them aside and this is the green beans i like using almost um, all of these vegetables especially if i can find them but if you cannot find them use the ones that is available so next i'm going to check on the chicken and at this point the chicken is well cooked i'm just going to take it out from the stock and then i'm going to transfer the stock into a plate and set it aside in that same pot i'm going to be adding a little bit of oil and then i'll go ahead and add some onions to this i'll allow this to fry for about one minute and i'll go in with the ginger and garlic paste this is just a blend of ginger and garlic so i lost the clip where i added the turmeric and the curry powder but if you notice it is looking yellow that is because i added a, a teaspoon of curry and and a teaspoon of turmeric you can add that to yours as well so here i went in with a little bit of salt and allowed it to fry next i'm adding the washed rice and i'm going to stir and toast till it becomes grainy before adding the chicken stock now let me tell you something about this rice you there are two ways you can wash your rice you can either wash it with hot water or you can wash it with cold water for the hot water you're going to 
add some water into the rice allow it to sit for about five to seven minutes and drain the water add salt and wash until the water becomes clear so when i said cold water i mean room temperature water so for this one i used the room temperature water like running from the tap i washed until the the water in the rice became clear by the way i'm using a long grain rice for this you can use any rice that you have um, available so right now i'm going to be adding the chicken stock to it you can see how quality the chicken stock is so i'm going to give it a very good mix and i'm going to add a little bit of water to it when making fried rice you don't need too much water i'm just the the water should be slightly above the rice so that you don't overcook the rice so taste and adjust seasoning if need be for me everything was okay so i'm going to cover this and allow it to cook on low to medium heat so this is after some minutes and you can see how the rice is it's grainy like it's not sticking to each other this is how your fried rice should be do not overcook so the next thing is to fry the chicken i'm going to add some oil to the pan allow it heat for some time and then go in with my chicken so i'm going to fry this until it turns golden brown and while frying it i'll always turn it so that it does not burn so this is what it should look like by the time i'm done frying now i'm going to take it out of the oil so right now everything is ready all my vegetables are prepped my chicken is ready and we are going to the next step so i reduced the oil from the chicken and then added some onions i'm going to give this a very good stir and then i went in with some ginger and garlic paste yes now you may be wondering ginger and garlic paste ginger and garlic paste yes guys you need it for your fried rice it add a lot of taste and flavor to the fried rice so i'm going to allow that to fry for some minutes and then i went in with all of my vegetables now here are the green beans green peas green bell pepper red pepper yellow bell pepper and then um, i added um some seasoning cube uh one seasoning cube to eat and then i added some salt just a little bit of salt and gave it a very good stir so i'm going to fry this for about a minute before adding my carrot the reason why i'm adding the carrot at this point is because i want the carrot to be like a little bit crunchy you know so i'm going to give it a very good stir so i went in with a tablespoon of cayenne pepper now if you don't like your fried rice spicy please avoid pepper for me i like my my fried rice a little bit spicy not too much but that is why i'm adding this pepper so at this point i am going to stir it for the very last time this is after about three minutes and that is it guys i'm going to reduce the the vegetables in the pan and then i'll go in with the cooked rice this is where i'm going to be frying the rice when once i'm done adding the rice i'm just going to start frying it and i also added butter to this this um for this particular kind of fried rice when you add the butter i tell you it makes the fried rice taste so unique and different so i'm just going to give it a very good stir and fry for about three to five minutes on a low to medium heat so after five minutes i'm adding some spring onions for some freshness and i'll give it a very good stir just to combine and this one is is ready i'm going to transfer to a plate and allow it to cool off before covering it do not cover while it is hot so the other method i did without frying was just to transfer the remaining vegetables into the pot of rice and just give it a good mix and that was it for the fried rice i did not fry that one so i also lost a clip of that video that is why you're not seeing it but i tell you it was also tasty after i mixed it up this is what it looks like thank you very much for watching see you in my next one bye